Welcome again. Uh, this time we're going to address uh, how uh, how we answer different chokes, more like re re um, re neck chokes, maybe even palm to palm chokes for the neck. So all kinds of wrapping around the neck. And so let's start from uh, you know simple position like turtle. So uh, there's a people uh, people usually um, ask about like different versions of guillotines, but also like a ten ten finger, so it's around the neck. So if you go for it. Yes, so this is a clear threat. So if I do this, first of all, if he tries it, go. So it's like really weird to actually close, so we always do this, and then we have wrist fight. So position is strong enough, and if they really go like uh, berserk mode, and then I have to uh, you know, do this, if I'm just this, this seems to be not enough, if certain beginner level, later I can do it also, but first do the joke and go. And the fingers, yeah, so they, you just won't let them close. And shoulders are in, so the neck is short, and it's really, it's really like a impossible. Don't do like this, just here, and just finger fight, and just, you know, position is strong enough. And whatever options, even arm through guillotine, let's say, try to go arm through, yes. Like, like even, you know, really like a choke or guillotine, whatever, go. So, I don't know, always intercept, and then, do stuff also, but the neck is not there. And it becomes more like, uh, you know, like this, and then we have another video about uh, neck cramps and stuff, but, uh, and also in, I think in amateurs, it's not an excuse, but amateurs you can't even touch this, and in pros you can do this, so you also have to consider which, which rule uh, base you use, and also in MMA and self-defense, so. But you start with a simple one that's safer, and then you add the complexity. Uh, let's say also grabbing the head around from the turtle, so somebody wraps around the head from the far side. So, yeah. yeah. So that's, you know, th those, I think uh, Rice Grace did it against Shamrock, Ken Shamrock, yes. So if they do this, go. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's not even, I don't think I have to wrist fight, just the neck is not there, they will grab just this part. And they grab, and then I have ex, uh, uh, escapes and stuff with underhook and just pulling guard. So when wrist fighting again supports, but the position is strong enough already. If I even do a mistake from uh, keeping the head straight, go or on the head. So it becomes like a face squeeze that's you know easier to shake off, uh, but it's it's a little bit little bit more dangerous. So that helps in wrist fight. So running man, uh, go for a guillotine choke. Oh. I don't know. So, trunk. Yeah. So, yes. I actually uh, do this. If I say a lot, then you know, uh, I don't know what's what's a lot. I haven't agree on that term. But I do it enough, often, then somebody gets a guillotine. Actually, a guillotine. Wait, go here. And uh, a lot of things are gone. Actually, they feel like you know, Marcelo style, whatever, squeezing. Go. Yeah. The shoulders, in a way. And again, if I do this, it's clearly more dangerous. But just as a position, it is weird to attack because the neck is not there, and then I support myself with wrist fighting, and uh, it seems to be solved so from a guillotine. And a panda, it comes with a price a little bit. So if you have uh, again, go. You what? Go go choke. Like yeah. So usually I do this. Like if the if the rear neck a choke, I look into choke, and then this seems I can also go, and then we're here. Uh, because I can change position if they go more, go, go for choke. Yes, clearly this is dangerous, but so my job is also wrist weight. Go, and then we have those options. And uh, there's two ways that are how, how people act usually. Give me the arm. So they can go in because that's what usually they look for. So we cover usually this is default. We cover this. I don't usually do this because one is uh, one arm is blocked by another. Because even if I do, this is always a gap. So one, they will figure out really soon which one is more open. Yeah, this is closed, but this is more open. So and you can block it or block it. So I use this. Yeah, and if they go around, go around a little bit. So then you open up, go around. Yes, then you open up, and it's like a little bit like a guiding thing. Go. Huh? You just do this. This is weak arm, and this is good. And now we're good. This is really hard to choke and you have different kind of manipulations. And they, yes, if you give them underhook and stuff, the problems you know, arise, but it's not over. So then it's this, and just you have to train yourself that something's coming here, they go past this, you have this. 
and then it's you reattach. And you have this falling or falling forward, elbows in the place, so they can crunch you. And uh, some people also will adapt, and they try to go like a front panda guillotine or front headlock even. So if I would do here, and they go like take go around, yes, they do those things. Those are wonderful attacks, and nothing really changes. Go again. You have the same thing, yeah, wrist fighting, and then you're figuring out how to get rid of this, wait for them, or you have an escape also available if you want. And again, seems like the postures are strong enough that attacks has to be played open, that somebody has to make me reach or catch me in transitions. Arms are helping, supporting. If the neck is open, arms will do more job and they get faster tired, and you need more experience to uh, counter that. That too much arm work, and then we have transitions. And uh, transitions are not losing. If somebody using all their strength to kind of push me around, then I use my postures, and then finally try to have escape. So I don't consider them like failing if somebody pushes me on a panda in that sense. So, so I hope this video gave you more ideas how we how this system tries to answer the problem with the neck grabbing and guillotines. And we also have a limited offer on a, for a site right now, one dollar to find out, so it's a limited offer, so I recommend if you're interested and this was intriguing enough and you have more questions, so I welcome you to join our, our site and have a further conversations about it and find out.